Hello, everybody. How are you doing? My animals are already going crazy, and we're just even beginning. So, welcome to a mail call of announcements and all sorts of stuff. So how is everybody doing tonight? I'm, I'm telling you, they really are going crazy. So <laughs> my dogs are down here and whoo, all sorts of stuff. So I hope everybody is doing well tonight. Um, it's been a long day. We had a uh, little bit of snow in the area, which always makes it interesting because this part of Missouri doesn't know what to do with snow. <laughs> I mean, we got, I think we got an inch in most area up to two some places. My home actually got a dusting, so almost nothing. But people here, they still do 65 miles an hour and tailgate you in it scary stuff. Anyways, um, I've got a few announcements I want to cover first. I have a little bit of a stack of mail. Not too bad this time. Uh, several cards have been sitting there actually since October. So... Um, but a couple things I, I want to cover first. One last week in my confessions video, I forgot to shout out one of my new patrons. So I want to give Mike Bowen a quick shout out. I'm going to give another one to him in my confessions video this coming Thursday. Uh, but I just blanked on it. So sorry, Mike, but happy to have him on board. Um, and in fact, I actually want to give a quick announcement about Patreon and patrons. Uh, you all know I'm going down to Disney in February. And so I'm actually going to be doing a special deal for all my new patrons. Actually, my old patrons. So everybody is a patron. Um, so, wow. Hi, Aiden and Heather and Caleb and Time Nerd. All sorts of stuff. Uh, two twins. It was great to meet you, too. Um, so all sorts of things. Anyways, the announcement. I'm going to get myself so wrapped up saying hi, I'm going to forget what I'm saying. Uh, when I go down to Walt Disney World in February... For everybody who is a patron of mine giving at least a dollar a month before January 15th, I'm going to send you a postcard to your home, handwritten by me. Um, I might use a mailing label for the address, but otherwise handwritten and mail it from the Magic Kingdom. So if you want an official or at least a, a Disney postcard mailed from me from the Magic Kingdom, all you have to do is sign on as a patron before January 15th. So when the February 1st billing hits, that way you'll get billed at that point. So if you want to know more about that, there is a link in the description. You can check that out anytime. Um, the snow is just a little bit white run, so not too much. Um, we don't usually get a whole lot of snow here, just enough to make it fun. Um, let's see. Oh, good. You got. I'm trying to catch up everything. See, I've got to write... Uh, Outlaw Run, yeah, it, we had an ACE, American Coaster Enthusiast event, Saturday, and it was so cold that I think Time Traveler was only open for like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something. So um, it was kind of rough that way. Matt, I'm so sorry. I did give you a quick glimpse of Sandy, but sorry about your cat. Oh, Hi, Richard. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Let's see. Um, I think that gets me almost caught up. Leave for Disney World on Thursday. Any advice? For ways to make the 13-hour drive more enjoyable, play lots of Disney music. Um, hopefully you got somebody in the car with you I need a nap, and don't take a nap while you drive, unless somebody else is driving. Um, <laughs> but have fun with the drive. Uh, we'll be doing a drive kind of like that in July when we drive down to Florida, except ours will be two days, so it'll be a long time. Um Am I going to IAPA? No, because I would live in Missouri. I don't live anywhere near it. I would love to go sometime. Um, IAPA, for those of you who don't know, is the International Amusement Parks Something Association, and they show all sorts of rides and stuff coming to parks. Uh, I am not into the industry that much, so I would have to pay a bunch of money to be there as a guest. and It would be fun to go, but it's not something that is really affordable or, or works well for me, so sorry. Um, let me try and catch my other things here on my deal. Oh, uh, since I was talking about patron, I give my patrons a couple extra little perks. I don't advertise everything, but one of them is I give them a preview of stuff. So if you are watching this, make sure you watch all the way to the end, and I will actually give you a little surprise at the end, something like what I do for my patrons, so you all can kind of get a hint of that. Um, I'm going back to Walt Disney World in February with my daughter. Uh, we are excited. Plane tickets are booked. Hotel is booked. We'll be playing. 
will be staying and playing at the Pop Century. Uh, looking forward to that. I do have a meet and greet at Disney Springs scheduled. So if you're in the area, we will be there on February 23rd in the morning. Uh, real excited to be able to meet everybody. Um, I will probably have some other friends there as well, but would love to meet you. So Saturday, February 23rd, plan on Walt Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. Um, I will also probably be doing a collab, hopefully at least one collab that day. And if you are a photo pass photographer, past or present, uh, we are going to be trying to get do a get together of photo pass photographers, trying to get people who've worked with me, and hopefully we can get a time and sit down and have some food and drinks and swap stories and have some fun. Um, I'm, I don't want to announce the time and place for that publicly. We don't have it set yet. But I also um, I want to make sure we kind of keep that as just photo pass photographers. So that way we have a little more freedom to share some things that are kind of company side stuff and we don't have to worry about stuff. Uh, but if you're a photo pass photographer, please make sure you get in touch with me so that way I can get you on the list and we can get you as part of the group. So, Undercover Mouse, I'm happy to have you as a patron. Uh, do I prefer to fly or drive to destinations? It depends upon how far it is. Um, if it's over about four, four to six hours, I typically tend to prefer to fly. But I don't exactly live near a great airport. I live near a little puddle deal. So, um, for me to get to a large airport, it's a three to four hour drive anyway. So, um, <laughs> Oh, sorry, no, Brian, I'll miss you by a week. That's a bummer. Um, can you get a shout out? Well, I don't know. Um, now, Pink Llama, if you want a shout out, though, you got to make sure you don't spam the chat. So I, I don't have to put you on timeout. Okay. Because <laughs> it's hard for me to monitor the chat when I'm talking and everything. So behave on the chat channel and then I don't have to put the timing thing in. So that'll work for everybody. Um, let's see here. Uh, my favorite stories from SDC. Aiden, you just got to watch the videos. Most of them are in those already. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, also with that February trip, uh, we will be spending a day at Universal. So we'll have a day at each of the Disney parks. We'll have a day at Universal. We'll have the day at Disney Springs. And we'll see what else we can kind of squeeze in there. But um, February is going to be an awesome trip. I'm really looking forward to that. And I think that is most of my quick announcements. I've had mail sitting here since October, so I am kind of behind on it a little bit. Zach Price, what kind of car do I got? One with four wheels. <laughs> so, uh, Joseph Hayworth, what kind, do I like Coca-Cola? I prefer Dr. Pepper. So, uh, but I am trying to get off the soda pop because that's one of the easiest ways for me to lose weight, and I desperately need to lose weight. So, um... I've managed to lose like seven pounds since January, but I'm nowhere near where I'd need to. So I'm going to be trying really desperately to be dumb during the holidays and diet, which is going to be interesting. But I'm really hoping by February that I will have lost at least 10 pounds. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so um, Bob Lupton, you think you worked with me at Bush Gardens on Rhino Rally? When were you there, Bob? I was there from uh, 2004 to 2006. Um, so mostly 2005, but extended out just a little bit. So, um, it's possible depending upon when you, when you were there. Um, let's see. <clears throat> How close am I to the new hurricane coming toward me? Well, Pink Llama, since I live in Missouri, I'm not near any hurricanes. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Hannah, the Disney hotels are wonderful, especially depending upon where, where you are. The budget hotels are pretty much like any other, but if you can manage to spend the money and go to the upper tier ones, they're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, let's see. M.M. Kenny wants to know where to buy a good Stitch plush. If you're wanting a Disney one, you can actually go online to store.disney.com, I think is what it is, and order it straight from the Disney store. Um, otherwise, you can go onto the park's website, either Disneyland.com or WaltDisneyWorld.com. Look for the uh, link up atop that says shop, and you can actually shop park merchandise online. Great way to get yourself a, a decent quality stitch thing. So let me start digging through some of these. Um, like I said, I've got a good stack of envelopes. Uh, would I ever check out Worlds of Fun's Winterfest, which I would love to do, at, honestly, COF. I'd love to get up there for it. Time and budget has just not allowed it. Our Christmas holidays, 
The one thing when you work at a church, Christmas is a crazy busy time. So it's hard to get out and uh, check out some of the stuff during Christmas. Uh, we get some great Christmas shows in Branson that I have never seen because I can't manage to get to them. So uh, my first couple cards are a couple from Barry Hom. Um, <laughs> the guy who plays Rex in Toy Story could play me in a... No, actually, Matt, you got it backwards. You're thinking Wallace Shawn, uh, who was actually in Princess Bride. It's inconceivable that people would think I'd sound like him. Uh, great actor. Great actor. So a card from Barry Hom, and I've got a few things dating back, like I said, to October. So we're going to come to the dark side. <laughs> and we've got candy. Wishing you a galaxy of treats this Halloween. So like I said, I'm catching up a little bit. And it's got music that isn't playing. Oh, bummer. It may have been too long since. Because it's been sitting here for a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can get it to go. Uh, I mean, I can guarantee you plays music because you can actually... There it goes. Uh, Brandon Neely, yes, Wallace Shawn voiced Rex. Uh, Wallace Shawn's done a number of things, but yes, same guy. Uh, yes, those of you who did not hear about Stan Lee, Stan Lee passed on today. Uh, creator of Spider-Man, uh, the Avengers, X-Men, uh, at the age of 95. So he'd been around for a while. So in honor of Stan Lee, Excelsior! There you go. One more here from Barry. I love that Darth Vader card. That's cool. Let's see. The whole gang's here with Mickey Mouse to search this spooky haunted house. Like I'm getting caught up here, so. But that's not all. They're, they're here to do. They're wishing lots of fun for you. Happy Halloween. I'm trying to read it on the screen so I can hold it. These are not the droids. You, actually, here, Undercover Mouse, if we do it right, this is not the YouTuber you're looking for. Or maybe I should do it the opposite way. This is the YouTuber you're looking for. There you go. <laughs> so I've got one from Drew Palmquist. I will give you a heads up. I have several things here from Drew and from Barry. They, like, really worked my mailbox here <laughs> this last three weeks or so. I am your fan. Hey, that's cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> Was Wallace Shawn the Grand Nagus, Richard Meredith? I didn't think that was him. Okay, you're going to make me look this up now. I'm a total Star Trek fan, and... Let's see. You're to I'm like, how do I not know that this is... It sure was. Oh my goodness. I did not... How did I not know that was Wallace Shawn? I'm going to turn in my Star Trek nerd card. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Okay, so I'm going to get this card out from Drew here. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious, Drew and Barry. So this is the card from Barry. This is the card from Drew. <laughs> Were you guys shopping together or something? Um, yeah, that that's, that's awesome. That was funny. <laughs> okay, so we got another one from Drew. Like I said, these two have worked my mailbox here. Um, I did actually, I sort of got to meet Stan Lee at a Comic Con a few years ago. It actually wasn't Stan Lee. Um, it was a guy who looked, I mean, seriously, looked exactly like him. It was amazing. So I got my picture taken with him. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it in an easy spot where I can get to it. But, uh, my favorite Star Trek character, um, that would be tough for me to pick out. I love Data in Next Gen. Um, I love, um, Odo in Deep Space Nine. Uh, he was great for me, too. Okay, so, opening this one up from Drew. He's got written on the back, is it a brochure? Open it, and let's find out. I know, Bob, I didn't know that was Wall Sean. That's terrible. Inconceivable. Okay, oh, brochure from Wild Water West. How cool. What's my favorite Star Trek series? I can actually answer that one, Laura. Um, because there are only a few, so it's easier for me to narrow it down. My favorite is actually Deep Space Nine. Um, I know it's not a favorite of a lot of people, 
but I really enjoyed Deep Space Nine just with the conflict that they brought in with it and uh, great series. So thank you for the brochure, Drew. <laughs> Did I see Mickey's birthday spectacular? I failed. I actually didn't even know it was on, and so I didn't um, get it even set on the DVR. I completely missed it. Um, so yeah, I was very disappointed with that. And it's not even available for me to download, so no, I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> laughing at Joseph Hay Howarth there. Uh, do I have a big Thanksgiving? We actually... I have a few college students over typically, but it's fairly small most of the time. I think we're actually going to have like four or five people this year, which would be, well, no, we'll have six. We'll have six. So it'll be a small one. Whew. Okay, so I get another card here from Barry. He's got lots of writing here. Um, I have some good news from Disney. I had a ticket for Mickey's Not So Scary at 1030, but I can't make it since I'm recovering from surgery. Let's see called zero and after a little bit of a hold i was able to trade my mickey's not so scary ticket for a mickey's very merry christmas party ticket that's cool even got a small refund due to the price difference um let's see let's see um going to mickey's very merry christmas party on december 2nd now we know why so many people love disney great customer service absolutely um I actually, I never got to go to the uh, Christmas party at all. I didn't even work that one, really. So I've heard great things about it. Um, so I'm a little jealous of that one, Barry. Take lots of pictures. Send me pictures and video. So um, my favorite treat from Disneyland treat. Uh, churros ice cream. Dole Whip. WWE Master. Dole Whip. I love Dole Whip. Uh, my son would say churros. Uh, that was his huge thing when we went to Disney in October was he had to get a churro. So, um, How long do I think a package from Arkansas would take to get to me? Um, it depends upon how you send it. Probably anywhere from three to six days. Um, it shouldn't take that long, though. Another card from Barry. Oh, is this 90th on YouTube? I'll have to check it out. Um, well, wonder how they got around the copyrights. So... Um, have I visited Herman, Missouri? No, I have not. Any advice on moving to Kissimmee? Kissimmee's a fun little town. Um, scout it out first. Uh, hopefully you've got everything picked out for you, Cammie. Uh, don't live right off of 192. Oh, uh, Fun road, but the traffic on it is horrible. But otherwise, I like Kissimmee. Uh, no, I have not dined with an Imagineer, at least not officially, Peter. <laughs> Let's see here. Hey, Bob, we are a family park. So, yes, I still use, I actually took that line. Bob Lupton posted a line in the chat that says, you know, please watch your head, watch your step, and if you can't watch your head, then please watch your language. We are a family park. We use that all the time on Rhino Rally, and I actually took that line and I used it on the train, and they started using it on the train in Silver Dollar City <laughs> because of that. So, anyways, another card from Barry. Let's see. Uh, I saw the foot doctor today. Doctor said the foot is healing well. That is awesome. Um, gave me a return to workout. Woohoo! So Barry's back at work. Tired of sitting around the house. I don't blame you. Barry was actually supposed to be here um, when we did the Silver Dollar City meet and greet, and because of his foot surgery, he wasn't able to make it. So, um, happy to hear that he's doing better. Let's see. Know how to apply to audition for the Main Street Band? I don't have a clue. I need a nap. Um, that's one of those things I don't think there's very many auditions, and I believe it's usually uh, you have to know somebody to get in with it. But don't quote me on that. Uh, Stone Dude, do I play Civilization VI? Um, I actually play five. I have done the sampler for six and was like, eh. I, I love Civilization the series, but I haven't done six really yet. Um, but I played five a whole lot. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Have I ever been in the cave at Silver Dollar City when it's cold outside? The cave at Silver Dollar City is always the same temperature. Doesn't matter how cold or warm it is outside. It's always the same in the cave. So it's like heating in the winter and air conditioning in the summer. So it's nice. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is a card from Drew. Just a real nice, pretty flower. And have a very merry unbirthday to you. My wife would like that. Brittany Miller asks, do I have any gifts from working at Disney? I have a lot of them, actually. Um, I actually have a couple videos that show some of my collection, so you can see some of the stuff I've gathered over the years 
there. Um, and then look in the, the shelves behind me here. I have a couple things. Uh, if you did not notice, I totally redid my shelves in the last video. So if you didn't watch Confessions last Thursday, you need to go watch it. Uh, they have all been redone, and I'm actually still changing and adding things to it. So you will see some things like that as well. What do I think about Gwazi 2020? I will wait and see. Um, I love Rocky Mountain, but we'll see what they do. Let's see here. Oh, cool Mickey Plus, you mean my Jedi Mickey. <laughs> Did I see the Toy Story 4 teaser, Clayton Hall last? Not yet. So, do I dislike any Disney movies? Eh, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of any. But I imagine I could probably think about it good. This is another card from Barry. Um, asking God to shower you with blessings. And give you countless reasons to be thankful. Happy Thanksgiving. That's nice. I like that. We've got... Goodness, a week and a half till Thanksgiving. I haven't even bought my turkey yet. I gotta go get the turkey because I'm the one who cooks it. Let's see. Um, I'll tell you what I've got. I have four more letters. So I'm trying to cruise through those. I have another little package here. I've got this box. I think I'll open this one next. I know what this one is. This is one I, I sort of ordered. Um, Outlaw Run's an awesome night ride. It, it really is. Uh, Steel Vengeance and Cedar Point is incredible, so if you ever get to ride that. but um, Michael Tarango, congratulations on joining the Marine Corps. Uh, high calling, hard work, but I thank you so much for that. Uh, crazy Chill, SB. Yes, you can. Um, depending upon if you want everybody to know your prayer request, you may want to send it privately. Uh, but I do pray over things like that. Hi. Okay, I'm going to disappoint you, Jennifer Nurse. Jonathan Nurse, sorry. Um, I'm not a pie person. I know. Isn't that horrible? Uh, the closest thing I really eat to pie is cheesecake. Um, I've I've eaten pumpkin pie twice, and I, I this is terrible. I hate pumpkin pie. I choked it down one time for my wife's grandparents, so I didn't upset them. But Okay, so anyways, I got this. And this is actually really cool. This is a box for my daughter and I. And it is from Disney. If you know, we were there at Walt Disney World three weeks ago, and I knew we were going to be back in July, definitely. And so I thought, well, you know what? Thanks to the patron who paid for the October trip. Oh, my goodness. It was incredible. Um, he actually covered our tickets and everything for us, which meant I could take what he had paid and apply it to an annual pass. And so we did. We upgraded two of our tickets to annual passes. So this comes for annual pass holders. You get another magic band. So hey, we got more colors to color coordinate. And then there's something that's really kind of cool with these. Pass holders on the side of this get these little sliders that you can put on your magic bands. So see if I can hold that up there so you can see it. There you go. And you can actually put those right on the magic bands and let everybody know you're a pass holder. Um, I don't know if I'll actually do that because so many pass holders are kind of pain in the necks and they have nicknames for them that I will not repeat on this because it's not necessarily polite. But <laughs> so I don't know if I'll do that or not. Um, Aiden, you actually saw that? You know, it's funny about the story. By the way, Caden, thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate the donation, Caden. That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, Aiden, your favorite show was the one where I lost my gun. It's funny because when I posted that story, um, in the last two years, I have probably had 30 people tell me that they were on that train. And I'm going, well, there was only about 200 people on the train, and they all happened to be on that. <laughs> so um, I, I wonder if there's been a time when that has happened to somebody else. I do know one other time that one of the other conductors, uh, just before I started working there, had actually forgotten his gun and got all the way out there, and he actually grabbed a stick. And walked up and did the show with the stick as his gun. And I didn't do that. <laughs> I just kind of went, uh. uh. So if you guys saw a guy using a stick for the gun, it wasn't me. That was probably Jim. Um, but do I like all the Star Trek movies? Most of them, yes. Uh, let's see. Brooklyn Blackout Cheesecake Cake. Ooh, that sounds good. We're actually doing a cheesecake that my wife can eat this year. We found a gluten-free graham cracker pie crust for her. So she gets cheesecake this year, too. <laughs> um, okay. Crazy Chill. I want to make sure I get this prayer request in here. Um, okay. 
we will be praying for the emergency room visit and find out what's going on. Yeah, definitely follow up with your doctor. Uh, keep me updated. Send me a note so that way I know what's going on. Okay, I've got let's see a postcard here from Drew. It basically says, just want to say hi. So, okay, there you go. Rail fans, there's your card. Oh, okay, Aiden remembers when the robber gave me his gun then. So, that would have been me. Austin made it! Yay! Can I dab? Yes, I can. <laughs> so, I've got two more here from Barry. I've got another one. This is new for me from Bonnie. Um, and see if I can get that name up there without totally showing the address. So there you go. So Bonnie, I've got that. And then I got a package of Etsy and another box from Drew. Chocolate cheesecake. I, you know, I'm weird. I like chocolate cheesecake, but I love just a traditional New York cheesecake. Um, doesn't even need strawberries or anything. Just give it to me straight. So <laughs> dab for us. I don't know, Brittany. Why would I want to dab? <laughs> What is my favorite theme park I worked for? Whichever one I was working for at the time. I loved all three of them, honestly. Um, I can't say I have a favorite. So, been watching, binge watching me for two days. Okay, Crazy Chill, take a break. <laughs> Sleep, it's good for you. But thank you for watching. I hope it's helped you. Uh, so this is, hi! Let's see. Brr, it was six... Or 54 degrees this morning in Florida. They think that's cold. Um, it's going to... It was 18 degrees Saturday morning. Um, for all the poor American Coaster enthusiasts, people who are out there, it's supposed to get down to like 12 tonight or something. 54 and they're pulling out parkas. <laughs> Time to break out the Arctic, Arctic survival gear. Yep. Um, 54 degrees may be shorts weather for you, but it's frigid for us. And yes, that is actually what he says there. <laughs> um, I still love when I was there in January and I got a picture of me with one of my old co-workers and I was wearing t-shirts and jeans because it was it was probably like 50 degrees or so. I was comfortable in, je in jeans and a t-shirt and she's wearing this heavy coat and a scarf wrapped around. <laughs> it was hilarious. So. Oh, yeah. I can, yeah, Laura. Chocolate cheesecake isn't gluten-free. Have I been to the Holy Land experience in Orlando? Yes, Trevor, I actually have. Um, years ago, I went, before we moved up to Missouri, I, I went three times. So, um, we actually really enjoyed it with the first owners. The new, the, owner, the people that own it now, Trinity Broadcast, is not who built the park originally. So, um, I only went once when they opened it. Silver Dollar City, Joseph Hallworth, is located in Branson, Missouri. It's in the southwest corner. It's actually about 40 minutes away from Arkansas, uh, in the middle of the Ozarks. Beautiful area. Let's see here. And Barry's writing about getting discharged from the hospital. Um, foot stopped bleeding, healing well. So, let's see. And they told me he was going to miss um, being at the meet and greet in Branson in November. Uh, because he wasn't able to get out, which I do already. I missed you, Barry. So, um, let's see. Have I ever seen Monty Python on the Holy Grail? I have. I love the movie. Here's where it gets goofy. The name of that movie actually makes me think of the old World Showcase players at Epcot. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, they used to have a comedy troupe that would do a routine in Italy and one in uh, England. And the they would actually get people who were watching them involved in it, and it was a whole bunch of goofy one-liners. Um, and the version they did in England was the Quest for the Holy Grail. And every time they would say the word Grail, they would get the whole audience going, Grail, Grail, Grail! Ugh! So, so every time I see the name for the movie, that's what I think of now. It's really weird. And then they let them all go a couple years back. I miss them. They were awesome. What time of engines are at Silver Dollar City? Train engines. <laughs> they were actually all built in Czechoslovakia and Germany in World War II. There are wonderful sites up there that show pictures of them. Um, that's probably the best thing to do is look up some of the sites because I can go on forever about the engines. Uh, but uh, they were all used in shipping yards to unload ships and transport stuff over to other trains that would then take them out. So... Hey, Craig, how you doing? You made it home. Hey, I made it home, you can see. I was actually texting with Craig, who's one of my patrons, earlier today um, about the travel and everything. So it was a nice trip home. I was really, really pleased with that. Aiden Morris, if you want to meet me in person, come to one of the meet and greets. Next one's at Disney World in February. Um, 
was I at Disney when Future Core was around? I'm actually not even familiar with Future Core offhand. I need a nap, so probably not. I don't know. Isn't that terrible? I don't know what it was. Um, watching my time. Okay, so I'm opening up the letter here from Bonnie. So this one I'm kind of excited about. So I love all the mail from Drew and Barry. They keep me busy, keep me loved. Those times when I'm sitting there going, gee, I wonder if anybody cares. And then I get another card from Barry and Drew. It's awesome. Let's see. Sir Willow, I saw these flyers at the Cambridge Mall yesterday. Cambridge, Massachusetts. I thought you would be interested. Hey, you can trade two of them off. Keep up the good work. God bless. Bonnie. Thank you so much, Bonnie. And let's see. Ooh. Edith, Edithville. I don't even know that one. That's really cool. They're all three of the same. And it looks like this. So you can see Thomas the train engine down there. Thomas the tank engine. Let me get it right. And nice little map, and then all sorts of stuff. This is a park I'm not familiar with. Wow. So we got dinosaurs, Ferris wheels, Thomas, and Santa. Santa's cool. I like Santa. Thank you so much, Bonnie. That's very cool. And yes, by the way, I do keep all of my fan mail. It's crazy, but um, if you ever do come visit, I'll show you all the mess that I keep. It's scary. Uh, Brendan... Uh, who's in the chat channel, has seen it. Whoa. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. And so he can tell you I got all sorts of stuff. Um, I did hear that... Uh, I'm going to say it wrong. Ellie, Eli at Worlds of Fun. I did hear that it was finally repainted. I actually saw pictures. It looked gorgeous. Hi, Rob in Seattle. Awesome to see you. Have a mouse go wow night. Can you tell Rob is a former cast member? <laughs> How is Ginger? She's going crazy somewhere. <laughs> are we getting snow tonight um probably not we got a dusting here but not very much um you know now springfield where i was most of the day they had a little bit more but yeah we'll we'll see what we get okay so this came from etsy now um this is actually something i ordered if you ever go to hollywood studios they have the citizens of hollywood which are the streetmosphere players and just a wonderful group of people. If you're at the park, you got to go watch them. They're hysterically funny. And I actually had a couple that Disney let several of them go, including a couple that I used to work with. Or at least I was working as a photographer while they were doing their stuff on the street. And so I knew them. I don't know how well they knew me, but I absolutely loved watching them. Well, there is a site called Mouselets that actually makes some things dedicated to them. So a beautiful little bag. And I saw this and I had to order it because just with the memories and these two people were wonderful. So what I have is I actually have a couple of custom made pins. There is Dorma Nesmond and Paige Turner. It had to get those from my collection. Those are just awesome. So um, they are actually occasionally substituting out on the street. So you might get to see them. But for the most part, they're done at Disney now. But uh, yeah, I saw the pins. I was like, oh. Gotta get those. Nerd alert. <laughs> so, but those come from the mouselets on Etsy, and they are all custom made. So, there's a little plug for them. Um, how's work in the parks during the holidays? Is it really busy? Tyler, yes, it is extremely busy. I actually have done a couple videos on it. Um, the holidays are the busiest time of year for Disney and Silver Dollar City, um, especially the week around Christmas. Don't go the week before Christmas. I actually did a video um, two weeks ago on uh, when I took my kids at Christmas Eve and why I won't go again. Watch that and you will see why you don't want to go during Christmas. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh, Aiden, that's kind of cool about the truck matching. Let's see. And I'm kind of trying to scroll through. Oh, okay. Let's see. So I need a nap. No, I did not see them at Epcot. Um, I'll have to look them up. Let's see. Oh, Bonnie, you just missed it. I just opened up your mail. So, um, so which means, yeah, you probably, you literally just missed it. So, there it is, Bonnie. Yep, I actually opened it up and showed everybody. So, <laughs> so thank you so much, Bonnie. Um, let's see. Lots of rain in Seattle. I, Seattle rains all the time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hand painted the balloon logos in every row with different colors. That would be kind of cool. Um, Thomas loves the citizens of Hollywood. 
Let's see. Do I know if Disney will let someone be a cast member for a day? Probably not. Um, not unless there is like some sort of big TV production that they're working with or something. Uh, because of insurance reasons and liability and various other things, they can't just let somebody come on and pretend to be a cast member, especially not with training. Even as something simple as manning the front gate, you still have to go through a full day of traditions training. You got the safety training. You got the basics on how to do the job, and you get like. Uh, between three and five days of training before you ever even step into the park as a cast member. So I doubt they would unless there was some really good publicity reason. Uh, but they wouldn't just normally let people do it. So I'm sorry, Crazy Chill. I know it, it would be fun, but... Do I remember when Hollywood Studios was called MGM? Yes, because it was called that when I started there. Um, in fact, my files that I put all this stuff in are actually labeled MGM Studios, not Hollywood Studios. So... Yes, I definitely remember that. Uh, I need a nap. The way you get started is you buy pins to start with and do not buy bulk lots of pins on eBay or Amazon. If the pins are under a dollar a pin, they're almost surely fakes and frauds and don't do it. Um, there's a wonderful group that I buy pins from called Pinderella LLC on Facebook. And let me see if I can get you. Uh, I don't even have it open. Um, but if you go onto my group page, I have a link on there, and I will get one posted into the description below later. Uh, you can buy authentic Disney pins from her. You can get a grab bag of uh, 50 pins, and actually, you can get a grab bag of 25 pins, if I remember right, for about $50. A great way to get started. Uh, that's a very good price for pins, because they usually start off at 6 to $8 each. Uh, but they're all authentic. They're good pins, and then you can just come into the park and start trading with a cast member. So, great way to get started that way. Um, let's see. Anything I wish or regretted not doing while I was working at any of the parks? I wish when I was at Disney I had done more of the backstage tours. Uh, there was an opportunity to do a backstage tour of the Haunted Mansion, and I didn't do it. Uh, there was one to do... Uh, I tried to get into one for Spaceship Earth, and it didn't work out. Um, but I would have loved to have gotten to see more of the rides behind the scenes. So... Uh, Michael, work front gate before photo pass. Uh, loved your job of photo pass more. I believe it. Honestly, I think photo pass for me was probably the best job in all of Disney. It, it was awesome. Uh, Ryan, did I get to ride Slinky Dog Dash? No, I didn't. The lines were huge. The crowds were huge. I should, I'm hoping to have the video from my day at studios up. Um, if all goes well, uh, possibly Wednesday or Friday. And you'll get to see, it was just a mob scene. If I don't get it up this week, it will definitely be up by next Tuesday. So it's going to be coming. But no, we didn't get to do Slinky Dog Dash. That is on the list for February. Um, are the characters allowed to acknowledge each other? Absolutely. I mean, Goofy knows who Mickey is, and Snow White knows who the Prince are. So if they see each other, yes, they will talk and everything. Um, so, but... Yeah, you know, they're not going to call anybody any weird names. They're going to call themselves by their own names. You know, Goofy knows who he is. So, but uh, let's see. Happy almost Thanksgiving, Rebecca. Do I like Hot Wheels? I did as a kid. I don't don't do too much with them anymore. I'm very slowly opening up this box from Drew here. This is the last of my mail, but I'm trying to get all these questions. Have I ever seen Power Rangers before working with them? Yes. Um, would it be really weird to acknowledge that I was actually a fan of the first couple seasons? Um, you know, when the Green Ranger turned bad and then became the White Ranger? There's some history for you there. So, <laughs> um, I should do a Christmas tree ornament video. That could be interesting, Josh. I have a few ornaments. Well, you can actually, you can see a couple of them here. Because there's this one. And that one and that one, those three glass ones are all from Disney Paris. And then I got a couple over here that you can see that I actually, I bought them uh, last year at Walmart on sale. So, you know, nice Star Wars, the nerd comes out. Uh, the funny thing is they were on, they were originally $7.99. I bought them for a buck each. So, I'm a bargain hunter. I go to the closeout centers. Oscar, have I ever been to Australia? No, I would love to go sometime. <laughs> Um, estimate number of how many photos I took at Disney. Uh, on which trip? This last trip, I was actually lighter than normal. I think I only took about um, 500 or so, which is a low number for me. 
Um, I shot a lot more video that time, though. Uh, but yeah, this next trip, I'll, I'll probably back up. The trip I took in January, it was something like 2,000, uh, 2,500. So a lot of pictures. Sealy, stop it. Favorite cast lanyard. One that I was given on my trip by another PhotoPass photographer. It's Figment. They didn't have those when I worked there. But uh, yes, that's my favorite. That was so awesome. So thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> have I been in the underground tunnels, Clifford? The very first video I ever did talked about being in the Utilidors. So absolutely, yes, I have. So I'm going to start digging into this box from Drew. And ooh, yummy. Beef jerky sticks. Drew, you're not calling me a jerk now, are you? <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of little things in here. Oh, there's a, there's some fun stuff in here. Okay, so here's a character that is hard to find at Disney anymore. It's Scrooge! Now, wait a minute. Okay, so Drew, you just called me a jerk, and now I'm getting called a Scrooge. I don't, Boy, Drew, I'm going <laughs> to... I've actually met Drew in person, um, and he's one of my patrons, so I get I can razz him a little bit. This is really cool. That is really cool. That will go on my shelf. So there is a nice model. If you don't know, I'm a huge NASCAR fan, um, and so this is great. And, in fact, if you watch the video Thursday, you'll notice I got another car on the shelf, so this will go up on there as well. So I got two of them. Oh, there's more yummies in here as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love that, though. That's cool. But hey, if that one's too big, let's go with a Kyle Larson car. And for those of you who don't know, Kyle Larson's from Elk Grove, California, which is a suburb of Sacramento. I lived in Elk Grove for a couple years. Know right where he is. So, yes, Kyle Larson's one of my favorites. Very cool. And then we've got pieces. Yum, yum. More jerky. Beef steak. Yum. And then something else here. Oh, and then a Kyle Larson magnet. Kyle Larson and then uh, Chase Elliott are probably my favorite drivers that are on the track right now. So that's very cool. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I was so bummed in the race this weekend because Chase Elliott was doing real good. And then Denny Hamlin muffed up and it took Chase out. It's like, ugh. So um, let me get back to my questions. Thank you so much, Drew. That is awesome. That's cool. Um, let's see. If I have younger siblings, it's not... Oh, I have a younger sister. She wasn't into Hot Wheels. Um, although I was very happy when my son, when he was a kid, started playing with Hot Wheels because I got to play with him. <laughs> um, there are several pin training stores in Disneyland. It, all of the parks, look in the uh, main street or their main place where they go. There's usually a store there that has just pins somewhere. So, um, Will I ever work at Disney again? No. Um, Goofy's Adventures, I can answer that one pretty um, easily. I actually have a whole video that talks about why I won't work at Disney again. So rather than me go into the whole deal here, let me point you to that. Um, let me see if I can actually pull it up here for you. I might be able to do that. And then I'll just drop a link into the uh, chat box here for you. And my whole thing is being weird. Oh, I hope it doesn't sign me out because it's being goofy there. Don't do that. Um... Best Christmas decorations in Disney. I would say the ones that they used to have um, at Hollywood Studios that are no longer there, and that's the Osborne Lights. But Silver Dollar City has done a very good job with theirs, and it's not the same, but it's very close. Am I going to watch my 49ers tonight? You bet I'm going to. Let's see here. Let me see if I can get that video up for you here. Copy link. Okay. So, for those of you who want to know why I won't work at Disney again, this is the link in the chat right there. That'll take you to that video, and you can watch it that way. Um, 13 minutes, but it's easier to do that. Favorite Disney character? Probably Figment, but I like a ton of them. Um, I had this deal where um, one of the pin trading things, we're doing a Secret Santa kind of thing, but it's not secret. And you're supposed to list your top three characters, and I ended up with six, because I couldn't narrow it down. It's terrible. Um... <laughs> If you get me something, Sir Willow, will you get a Stitch plushie as a reward? I don't have any Stitch plushies, Joseph, and if I gave my sons away, he would kill me. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Disneyland or Disney World? Keep in mind, Disney World is four parks. 
Disneyland is one. Unless you mean the Disneyland Resort, then it's two. So it's not comparable in that way. Now, Brittany, if you asked Disneyland versus Magic Kingdom, that's easy. Disneyland, because it's Waltz Park. So, um, you know, I really need to do a video about that, about why I prefer each. So, um, but that will be coming up. Best season to go to Disney World. Honestly, if you want the Christmas stuff, go the first two weeks in December. If you don't mind not having the Christmas stuff, go like the first or second week in January after the holiday crowd is done. So like January 5th or so. And th the park will be as close to empty as Disney World gets anymore. A great time to go. You may have a couple rides closed for, um, you know, as they're getting ready to do rehabs, but the crowds are gone. So uh, great. What model camera do I use for the 360 videos? Samsung gear. There it is for you. So, um, and I was actually uh, blessed. One of my viewers sent this to me and said, hey, try out a few things. So, um, in fact, I had mentioned a surprise for you. Well, it actually uses this. So, if you are watching, my patrons typically will get to watch a video um, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours before I post it for everybody else. So, I have actually uploaded a video for you, and it is um, actually the 24... I'm sorry, the 24. Don't ask me where that's coming from. It is the 360-degree version of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, I actually filmed that while we were there. Um, it's a little dark at the beginning because the camera doesn't have a great night resolution. But if you want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean in 360 degrees, meaning you can flip that camera around, uh, you can actually do that. And I'll post it publicly for everybody tomorrow. But there is a link for you. You can watch it tonight when we're all done here. How's that for cool? So this is something my patrons usually get. It's a little perk for them. And it's a nice way for me to say thank you for supporting me. I don't get to give them early stuff all the time, but I try. So I don't promise it, but I think they probably get like 90% of the videos early that way. What's a park I haven't been to yet that you really want to go to? Jonathan, my list of parks is honestly, it is about this long. Um, there's just a ton of them ton of them and would love to go to so that's a question i really can't answer furry gaming hi <laughs> good to see you um austin i've heard about the lights in batesville they're supposed to be really nice it's just getting time it's so hard for us at christmas the one bad thing with me being a pastor is churches get so much stuff going on and so typically we kind of survive through christmas and like january 1st hits and all of us go <sighs> because there's Christmas parties and productions and services and, and all sorts of stuff. So it's a busy month. So, um, Crazy Chill SB Life, same answer for you as far as best time to go to Disneyland. Uh, first couple weeks in January are great. What was my worst experiences with guests at the parks? Again, Despacito, most of those, the best stories and the worst stories and things, I've got in videos on my channel. And so if you just kind of dig through, they will come up and you'll be able to see them. Uh, I can't say I have single uh, best or worst. I've just got a bunch. And sometimes I start remembering in the course of interacting stories that I had forgotten to talk about. So that's the easiest way to answer that. I know. Sorry. Hola. Como estas, Rainblower? Me? Muy bien. So, uh, I've heard Warner Brothers Movie World in Australia is supposed to be really good. Am I into roller coasters? <laughs> I need a nap. Um, I am a card-carrying member of the American Coaster Enthusiasts. Okay, I'm not going to scare you with anything here, but um, if you can see the shirt here, let me pull it down. This is the shirt I was wearing today. There we go. Florida Coaster Club. Um, yes, I am a coaster enthusiast. Um, I am not a jerk about it uh, because some of them tend to be really goofy. Uh yeah, you know, there are some coaster enthusiasts that think because they've been on a bunch of coasters that there's something special. No, I'm something special because God loves me, but not because I ride coasters. Um, but yes, I am into roller coasters. I am just shy of 300. I've got to hit like five more coasters to hit 300 coasters. Um, and favorites, again, I can't pick single favorites. Uh, I have a video that I talk about, uh, I think it's my eight or ten favorites. And so that's the easiest way to do it. What town do I live in? Aiden, all you have to do is look in the description. My mailing address is there. <laughs>
What's better, Disneyland or Disney World? I thought I just answered this one. It sounds familiar, strangely. Um, I really need to do a video about that. I prefer Disneyland Park. Disney World is four parks. It is not one park. So if I have a choice between one park or four, I'll take four. But if I have to choose just one park, then it's Disneyland. So, um, Oscar, going to work at Disney College Program in January from Australia. What should you do to get the most out of your time? Um, Oscar, I'm going to let you know now, Disney College Program, they're going to work you a lot of hours. You will probably be working 40 hours a week and maybe more. Uh, being college program, you also have some classes and other stuff that they're going to have you do. And they'll keep you pretty busy. The best thing I can tell you, make sure you find time to rest. Talk to other people who've been in the college program. They're going to give you much better advice than I can because I have, excuse me, I've never been in it. I was married with kids when I worked at Disney. Uh, but they can give you some good advice that way. If you're just trying to figure out what to do, don't be afraid to go to the parks alone or to the resorts alone. Yes, it's fun with friends, but sometimes it's great to go by yourself as well and just explore and check things out. So have fun. Have fun. Um, my dog is over there scratching like crazy. Seely! Hey! Come here! Let's see if I can get her over here for you. <laughs> what are my Thanksgiving traditions? To eat a lot. Okay, there you go. So for all the pet people, this is Seely. This is my Pomeranian. Her nickname is Stupid. Because you call her name and she walks in a circle instead of coming to you. I'm actually surprised she came over. Just... Um, let's see. Uh, most mediocre experience. Okay. If you ask me most or whatever, it's not going to happen. It, most mediocre. That would be the one that you would just kind of forget about. Can't say there'd be anything to stand out that way. Uh, last movie I saw in a theater. What was the last movie I saw? Infinity War, I think. There's like four movies I've got to go see here in the next three weeks. So we've got a whole bunch coming up. Um, which Hollywood theme park would you go to in Florida besides Mickey's Not So Scary? That's it. That's the only one. Uh, sorry, Ryan. I am not into Halloween stuff generally. I enjoy the trick-or-treating and the fun. I am not into blood, gore, horror, slasher, killer, scares. None of that interests me. Um, so I wouldn't go to any of them. I honestly have... I was at one that got rained out, and that was just fine with me. Otherwise, I've never been to one and really don't care if I ever go to one. So, sorry. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, Oscar and Stephanie are saying travel alone all the time. I had great time in the parks by myself. I love going with my family. My dogs are dead. Okay, your turn. Other ones turn. This is Ginger. Here you go, Jum Jum. Ooh, yeah, I know you love me. Uh huh. So, <laughs> um, Brit Ginger is a puggle. She is half pug, half beagle, which means she's got lots of energy and she's dumb as a rock, or at least as klutzy as one. So. <laughs> Um, Christopher Robin, my wife and daughter saw Christopher Robin. I didn't go because I had something else come up. So I have not seen Christopher Robin yet. And I have been hounded mercilessly by them. So, uh, what does my church think about my YouTube videos? They're very supportive. Uh, they laugh at me about it. <laughs> it. It's a paid job. And honestly, that's what it is. Um, thanks to all of you for watching. But it has turned into enough that I actually make enough money to be able to, uh, you know, this is what I use as my paid job now. Um, it is not a huge amount of money. Uh, Patreon supplies most of it. And between Patreon and uh, YouTube, it's still under $1,000 a month. Um, so, you know, if you think you're going to come on YouTube and get rich quick, it's not going to happen. Um, it is a lot of work, but, but it has worked out very well for me. Far more than I ever, ever expected. Um, I was going to be really happy if I had a thousand people watch each video. I, I thought that would have been cool. And so I am blown away. I never, never expected to become as popular with as many viewers or as many great fans. Um, you guys blow me away. And honestly, the mail is something I never thought I would get. Thank you, Richard, for starting that. Um, the trips that I've been able to take. I'm, I am still in awe because I have been to... Disney World twice this year. I've been to Disneyland Paris. I've been to Israel. I've been to Cedar Point. And the amazing thing is, 
it has opened up doors from all of you to help make these trips happen because I haven't had to pay for any of them, which is crazy. Um, it's a good thing, too, because I can't afford them. Um, I just simply don't have that money. But it has been amazing how the doors have opened and the blessing has poured. And I'm, I'm still in awe. The fact that I'm going back to Disney and Universal again in February. It, the only one that's really kind of on our schedule and saying, yes, we're paying for this, is in July because it's a big, huge church convention that I go to. Um, the one other one we're doing is right now in May, we're probably going to the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum in Kentucky because I was sent free tickets. And I got this thing in the mail. They said, hey, we're going to let you come out free. So my wife and I will take a couple days and we'll head out that way and probably go to the Kansas, or to the St. Louis Zoo as part of it. Um, so yeah, it's just amazing how that has all happened. So thank you for that. When I talk about Patreon, they're the ones that have helped make it happen. The annual passes that we upgrade to at Disney, my patrons are the ones who provide the funds for that. Um, I have a video coming up from the Kansas City Zoo in the next week or two. Uh, my patrons help cover the cost for that. So it, it has been amazing that way. Um, so thank you. Um, I'm starting to get snuffly here. So I almost need a tissue somewhere. Um, <laughs> gonna try not to cry. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to... Did I see the picture of the Stitch animatronic taken apart? Yes, I did, Vince. Uh, my son was not happy because he loved Stitch, the Stitch encounter. Um, so, Brian, it's okay. <laughs> I totally have. I, sh I could and should write a book about you know, my YouTube adventure. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so here's something I cannot promise anything. I have actually been in touch with a book publisher. It has been, goodness, it's actually been a month and a half, and they said for me to write a chapter and send it to them, and I haven't done it yet. Uh, but there is actually a book publisher called Theme Park Press that has a little bit of interest. So there might be a book. I don't know yet. I've actually got to sit down and do it um, and start getting some writing done. But it's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. I've got about four minutes left here because I promised my wife I would keep it in an hour. So uh, will I make a video of the Ark Encounter? You bet I will, Rebecca. Absolutely. Ooh, free tickets to Holiday World. Congratulations. Holiday World's an awesome park. Great park. So, Maddie, yay, you're in remission. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Having gone through the cancer bit, I am really happy for you. I know. <laughs> so, um, did I post videos on my Israel trip? Yes, I did. Uh, again, go to the channel homepage, look for Israel. I think I've got three on there from it. And then I do have all my pictures posted, and there's several thousand pictures. It's crazy. Um, I have not done much with it yet on my Burning Bush channel like I wanted. Unfortunately, I haven't done much with the channel the last couple months, so I need to get a couple things done on there. Uh, and I want to get some of the Israel stuff posted there and talk more about it. So it, it's going to be coming. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so I've got to get the Burning Bush channel going again. I've got to get some stuff written for this possible book, which would be cool. If I do the book... I will actually be doing some behind the scenes stuff that I don't do on the channel. Uh, so there will be a couple things I'll talk about in it that um, will kind of let the you know, scene down, go behind the magic a bit. Um, but hopefully it'll happen. It, it would be awesome if I can manage to get this whole thing done that like next year for Christmas it would be available. So um, do I have any plans for where I'm going to take my channel from here? Uh, you know, honestly, Maddie, and this is a good thing to kind of close up with. Uh, I've been kind of amazed with how the channel has gone. Uh, and I have started thinking a little bit. I want to keep doing the confession series, absolutely, because that's what started the whole channel. Um, and I love doing the travel vlogs as I, as I get around to travel places. I still want to do more history videos uh, of some of my old park trips. I still want to do a, a history of photo pass. Uh, there are some more videos if you watch tpm vids they do a, a number of fantastic videos there are a few videos similar in style i've got that i really want to do um that i'm hoping to eventually get i'm actually sitting here um with these these are uh, non-public stuff this is my scripts i used when i did rhino rally and i want to get a video put together of me essentially recreating the ride as if i was the the driver again, but I'm still trying to get some video pictures to fill it in, but that is in the works. Uh, 
I want to do more collabs. Uh, one of the hard things being here in Missouri is most of your Disney people who do videos don't live anywhere nearby. And so trying to get together with them to do collabs is tough, uh, but I would love to be able to do some more collabs. I've actually talked with a couple people about some possibilities. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to say get your hopes up and then have it not happen. But uh, there are some things I definitely would like to do, but I'm definitely open for your suggestions too and ideas. And so definitely anything that you think would be awesome, send me the ideas. It doesn't mean I'll use it, but hey, I very well might. Uh, so I'm always looking for stuff like that. So um, Aiden, totally get it. I'm happy with you watching. I love my patrons. I appreciate the support. I don't expect everybody to support financially. Um, but you watching is support, and that's great. Leave your comments, leave your feedbacks, make sure you hit like on the videos. When you share them with friends, that all is wonderful to me. So if you can't send a dollar a month, that's okay. Doing the other stuff is great, and it, it really does bless me. So can you get banned from Disney? Yes, you certainly can. Um, I can point to a couple YouTubers that have. But um, And Margaret, I'm going to close with this. Crazy Chill SB says, can I tell my wife there's at least one fan who thinks she's really pretty? Oh, well, they are just being very sweet. <laughs> okay. She's she's not on screen, but, yeah, she's very pleased with that. So That's very sweet. <laughs> so. What? She's just honest. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but thank you so much, guys. You all are amazing. Honestly, you humble me and bless me all the time. And I am so very grateful for every single one of you. Thank you for joining me. Um, I know I'm going to cut off some of you here, but send me your questions. Send me your suggestions. Send me your ideas. I love to hear it. I really would. And thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, you guys rock. You really do. And I love you all.